All right, what you're looking at right now is a 2014 Cadillac ELR, one of the most fuel or energy efficient vehicles on the American road today. The reason I say is because the ELR, just like the Chevrolet Volt, is an electric vehicle. The right way to use, use this car, this car was designed to be used as an electric vehicle. It's designed to be plugged in into an electrical, a standard electrical outlet, and it comes with a cord. A cord is a standard, the cord is about 15 foot tall or 15 foot long, and it's a standard accessory that comes with the vehicle. If you do not plug the ELR or the Chevrolet Volt in, you're not using the vehicle as it was designed, and you're not saving the money that you could be saving as far as gas mileage. Now, speaking of gas mileage, I'm going to talk about the major components that contribute to the high efficiency of the Cadillac ELR. First of all, there's a lithium ion power supply, which is about the same length as the, the, uh, the passenger compartment. And the lithium ion power supply runs along, along the center of the car in between, in between the, the driver's seat and the passenger seat. I've heard tell that the power supply is shaped like a, a giant T, basically. Okay, in addition to the power supply, oh, speaking of the power supplies, when the car is plugged in into a standard 120 volt outlet, when the car is plugged in, it's the lithium ion power supplies that are being charged. Now, the car does not have to be fully charged in order to unplug it and stop charging it. What drives the wheels on the Cadillac ELR are electric motors. And once the car is, and if you drive the car long enough, long enough distance to the point where the the uh, lithium ion power supplies uh, uh, are are in need of regen are in need of recharging, then the onboard generator, which is a gasoline engine, the onboard generator will start. The computer will tell the engine to start. Once the engine starts, once that engine starts, um, then it, it will it begins to automatically supply the electricity needed to keep the electric drive motors turning. So there's absolutely no interruption to your driving your driving pleasure. And one of the advantages of this of the, of the ELR is that you don't have to although you get fantastic energy efficiency you don't have to be concerned about where is an electrical outlet so I you don't have to be concerned about having to plug it in because if you don't plug it in then the generator will run all the time and you're defeating the purpose of having an electric vehicle because the vehicle runs all the time Oh, speaking speaking of the, um, not the vehicle running, but the generator running. Speaking of the generator running, once the generator starts to run, like I said, it generates electricity for for either the uh, 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 built the power supply or the electricity will go to drive the wheels if you are rolling. If you're not rolling, the gener the, the electricity generated by the generator will go to the lithium ion power supplies so the advantage of that is that um, if the engine happens to be running you're driving long distance and for some reason you did not plug in the car if the, if the generator happens to be running that is not waste gasoline that gasoline that the generator uses is going to generate electricity and that electricity always is always going to go somewhere it's either going to go to drive the electric motors which drives the wheels or it's going to go to contribute to the charge level of the pop built-in power supplies so that gasoline is always going to be used to generate electricity which is always going to be used if it's not used right away it will be stored and used at a later date making the car much more efficient to operate than the standard the standard vehicle on the road today.
What we're looking at right now is the center console in my 2014 Cadillac ELR. I'm looking at the energy usage screen and looking at the info. The last time I drove the car, the power that it used was only the power stored in the lithium ion batteries, which came from the car being plugged into an electrical outlet. That's why it's showing 250 plus miles per gallon. That's the max that it will show when I'm running straight on straight electricity. Um, that's also an indicator that I use zero gasoline. Yeah, energy usage discharge. Uh, 0, 0.00 gallons of gasoline use, 3.4 kilowatt hours used. My lifetime average on this car is 81.6 miles per gallon. Now that's that 81.6 miles per gallon is a mathematical average. Is the average based on a mathematical calculation of the total miles on the car divided by the total number of gallons of gas used by the car. That does not include the energy usage used from being plugged in, but that is the number of gallons of gasoline used. Average, 81.6. My, large, my biggest concern about gasoline in connection to my ELR is will the, gas, will the gasoline go bad before my car has a chance to use it? And I've since found out that the answer to that is probably not. Because the engineers in the Cadillac were good enough to take, that, to take the shelf life of gasoline into account when they programmed the, the car. The car, the computer in the car will cause the automobile to go into maintenance mode periodically if the gasoline engine has not, if enough time has ran since the last time the gasoline engine has, excuse me, let me back that up, let me start over again. If enough time has passed since the last time the, the engine has ran, the car will, the computer will start the engine in maintenance mode because there are seals and gaskets that need lubrication periodically. We can't have an engine, an internal combustion engine, just sitting in the cold or in the heat for many months or many years in a row and not have that engine start. If that happens, then gaskets and seals, which require some type of lubrication, will eventually dry out and dry up and not be usable. So the engineers were good enough to take that type of thing into consideration when they designed this this car. But getting back to my mileage, my average lifetime mileage is 81.6. That includes city and highway driving. Now, when I first got the car in the first four weeks, my average was in the low 40s. I never got to the 30s, but it was in the low 40s because I drove long distance to Atlanta from Charlotte to Atlanta and to from Charlotte to Virginia Beach uh, and I did not plug the car in on a regular basis because I've recently I've recently started driving basically within the city limits I plug the car in on a regular basis now and as a result of that I'm using much much less gasoline I might well when it, let me go back to what I started to say when I put gasoline in this when I refuel the vehicle I typically do not fill up the gas tank because I don't want to keep old gas in the gas tank. Usually what I do is I put about four gallons in it. Now this gas tank only holds 9.5 gallons of gasoline. I put about four gallons of gas in it about every three months and I drive every single day. That's how great the gas mileage is. And Cadillac was able to, uh, I, I think they were able to get this fantastic gas mileage in great economy in a full-size luxury vehicle without sacrificing the mass of the car, the weight of the car, or the quality of the materials. The interior of the ELR is fantastic. It has nice layer of leather, suede, hardwood trim, decorative carbon fiber, and a heavily padded overhead. It's absolutely gorgeous. 
The shiny parts are genuine metal and everything looks great and feels very good. Cadillac did not sacrifice the mass or, or the quality of materials that they've put in the ELR, not at all. The steering wheel is, is leather, it's heated, as are the seats, if I turn on the heat. Overall, GM has done, GM has done an outstanding job via Cadillac with the ELR. They've introduced full-size luxury and economy into one vehicle. It's very stylish, it's very good looking. They've done an excellent job. I was a for, I'm a former Corvette fan, and this car is absolutely gorgeous and wonderful. It's a it's full size. It fits two full size adults, and I absolutely absolutely enjoy the vehicle.